Is it working? I think. Yes, we're in. All right, ladies and gents. Whoa! Oh my goodness, this is epic. Mega random sometimes it gives you some kind of map maps, but this is an incredible map. And I'm going to talk about why I think this is going to be epic. So, the point here is to A, win the game by controlling this monument. And there will be a massive countdown that will display later on. Um, there we go. Uh, if, if they get to it. And then B, destroy enemy town centers. So, this is sudden death. You cannot make a second or third or fourth or, guess, guess what, a fifth town center. It's not possible. If you accidentally delete your town center, you're dead. If the enemy destroys your town center, you're dead, regardless of what's going on at the monument. Now here, there's going to be a lot of water focus and water control for the monument, but guess what happens when you're putting all your resources to control a monument when everyone's close to each other on land? Yeah, especially with some of these players, I think that there's going to be some crazy shenanigans with TC snipes. So in, gr in the green, we have Triarius, who I know is Laboga, but... I guess Laboga doesn't want to be called Laboga anymore so because the name's different. So, uh, anyways, we have Green playing as the Berbers. In the blue, we have Ethiopians for Bora Bora. In the orange, we have Hides. Uh, Hides is playing as the Two Tints. In the gray, we have Ariel, who's playing as the Vikings. In the yellow, we have Snippy, a name that you guys might be familiar with. I think the very first legend on my channel way back in the day and known for his sniping of kings. Here, he will probably go for town centers, and he's Tatars. In the gray, we have uh, Bami, Tommy. Bami, Tommy's playing as the Spanish. And then in the uh, red, we have Queen of Pigeons playing as the Portuguese. And last but not least, we have Shadow Ruff, who has changed the name to Imposter Ruff. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, Shadow, also a player, is kind of known for those sniping shenanigans. And Shadow is Koreans. It's always tough for me because a lot of people in Twitch have a like a name and personality and then they change their name and I don't know what to call them, but I guess I should mainly call them by their names in game. And I think this is gonna be epic. What a great game to resub. Thank you for that resub and thank you, Breakfast Taco, for the 28. It's a long time. But I want to talk even more about this because one thing that that's tough with these one town center situations is the lack of eco because you can only produce villagers at a certain rate you can't really boom or gain an advantage in that way but with water maps you can sure you only have one town center but you can dock and add fishing ships so you could have a 20 30 eco lead if you really go heavy on water so i think the safe play is probably to go water in dark age of course but then also fight on water in feudal fish boom and then maybe make some defensive castles around your town center in case going gets crazy. Um, going's getting crazy here for green. But green's a pretty solid player and green's doing a fine job. Now, last time I saw Snippy play, I think it was a regicide game. And he has this build where he goes for a castle to make petards. And then regardless of his sieve, he makes cav archers to snipe kings. I don't think that... Uh, I mean, Cav Archers are not a bad thing with the Tatars because they do get Thumb Ring for free. It's a pretty freaking solid Cav Archer sit, but you can't really snipe Kings here. But maybe we'll see Rams or something. Maybe Trebs, I don't know. Is Walling an option? Walling's an awkward option. I mean, how much are you going to have to wall? I guess you could wall here. But then again, you're probably only going to die to Castle Age options, which can break through Palisade walls anyways. Maybe it's better use of your time to just go to stone and drop a castle defensively. But yeah, walling does seem like an option. You also can get your navy in in this area to block off anything. So maybe some crazy demo shots could be seen. Now, I, I say I, I have called out the DE devs many times, and I will continue to call out DE devs. But I will also give respect where it's due. And the fact that they made it possible as Snippy starts the countdown with his fishing ship. The fact that they made it possible to Firehawk. <clears throat> the fact that they made it possible <laughs> uh, to combine game modes is really cool. So we have Sudden Death and we have King of the Hill. This was not possible before. Well, 
technically it was possible before DE, then they launched the game without it being possible, and then they, they made it possible again. So, anyways, it was a really cool addition, and it's nice to be able to combine all the different game modes out there together. Otherwise, I wouldn't be near as exciting about this, and it would just be win the water and win the game. It's tough, though. You, you invest all your time and resources into the middle, and then someone shows up with rams and rams down your town center? I mean, that's a real possibility here. And I can't help but feel like there's going to be at least two or three players who say forget about the middle and just try and take out people's town centers. So, one, one other aspect to bring up when it comes to King of the Hill... And you can see it with Snippy's stone count. You see how that's inching up and he's not on stone? When you have control of the middle in King of the Hill with DE, the person who has the middle gets a trickle of resources. So this is a smart move from Snippy in the Dark Age to get a fishing ship here because no one can take him out of the middle until they get to Feudal Age to make a fire galley. You can't just bring your own fishing ship here and sit here. Snippy was there first. So someone's going to have to take that out to take that uh, control away. Eventually, the countdown will become closer to zero, and then it will really matter for that reason. But Snippy's getting... Instead of just sending out a fishing ship and then sending it home where someone can retake the middle, he's going to have a guaranteed couple hundred resources with either uh, resource, which can lead to some insane uptimes and a nice little boost. I like the fishing uh, for the reasons I mentioned already. You, you have... You can make as many docks as you want and as many fishing ships as you want. TC, you're stuck on one. See some players in feudal. Red has not docked, which tells me he's a bit more on the inexperienced side, but he's going for arms and whatnot. Know. What should I watch tonight, Nicholas Gage? <laughs> Just watch Nicholas Gage tonight. Thank you, Dwa. Ideas for breakfast. Thanks for the new sub. Don't talk about food right now. I've been streaming for five hours. Six hours, and I'm hungry, so. Now, I should point this out. If you're playing on Age of Empires 2 DE, the monument should always give you resources in King of the Hill games, unless you're playing on a non-standard map. Mega Random is treated as a standard map, but there is a bug. I don't know if it's really a bug, but the way it, I've seen it anyways is, let's say you do Hidden Cups maps. I don't think that the monument would work this way. Just as an FYI, in case you guys are playing on Forest Nothing and it doesn't seem to work. But yeah, uh, because of that, Snippy's on the way to Castle Age first. And Snippy's already on stone. You just know he's going to go for freaking town centers. So story about Snippy for those who haven't gone back and watched those classic videos. So back when I, as Snippy's now going to lose his fishing ship and then lose control of the middle to Teal. Um... So back in the Snippy days, uh, when that video was made, I would cancel community games because we wouldn't have enough people to play in them. Like, I would say, okay, guys, anyone can join. And guess what? We wouldn't get enough people. So it got boring because we'd have, like, four people play. And then the next one, we'd have the same people. And it <laughs> so that was how it worked. And now there's, I, I don't know how many people we have watching right now. But we typically have hundreds of people trying to enter games. So that w those were the Snippy days. And so Snippy, like, he developed this reputation of being really poor with economy, but always being a pest and trying to snipe people. And I, if you watch back that video, The Legend of Snippy, that was pretty much what happened. Like, everyone else was doing their crazy thing, and Snippy just goes all in to snipe people because he just... I think deep down inside, he's a sicko. He likes to watch people struggle. <laughs> like, he gets great joy about, from others' failures. <laughs> and so, like, he doesn't care if he wins or loses. He just wants to re-watch re and watch him ruin someone else's day. And truthfully, Snippy's level is pretty good now. Like, he's 1,300 1v1s or whatever, but he hasn't really changed. So I'm really happy he got a Legend video. Because sometimes people become legends just because they commit to stuff. He just, yeah, he just wants to watch the world burn. And he hasn't changed. So, like, he just has not won community games. He just, at all costs, will try and take out others. And to make matters so much worse, Gray, to the right of him, first community game ever. I'm, I'm pretty certain. First community game he's ever played. Probably really excited and nervous. And then guess what? Teal, 
first community game ever. So the people to the side of Snippy are about to learn why Snippy has his reputation, and Snippy's already making petards. So that's going to be interesting to watch. Now, Teal actually has gone for a scout rush, and Snippy has garrisoned his TC. He wasn't really close to his TC when he did that. But, uh, whoa, Teal with the moves over here. Okay. I mean, Teal seems to have a pretty solid build, and Teal will click up to Castle Age soon. You need five petards to destroy a TC. Again, in this game mode, if your TC is destroyed, you lose. And uh, also, you have to focus on the middle, too, so it, it's hard to find that balance. I would be way more aggressive on water than these players are. But I guess, uh, wow, turtle ships? Let's go. Purple's going to make some turtle ships. So Teal just made the mistake of angering the bad man. <laughs> like, Snippy's like, oh, what should I, who should I attack here? And then Teal shows up seconds later and attacks his villagers. Uh, that's, that's not a great sign for Teal. But Teal is walled. I think it takes two petards to take out a Palisade Gate. Maybe just one. One makes sense, actually. And petards are not cheap. They're definitely not cheap. So, funny story, and some of you might have noticed this within the community. So, Hidden Cup is coming. Best players in the world are given uh, Age of Empires 2 hero names. They play the tournament not knowing who they're up against. And, uh... You know, we don't know who we're watching when the tournament happens. That's March 18th through the 21st, by the way. Please make it. Um, so my mods and other people within the Discord changed their Discord names to be something similar to an Age of Empires hero. And Snippy changed his name to the Snippator. <laughs> like Saboteur, which is a hero. And here he comes, the Snippator. And, oh, Teal, what have you done? Okay, Teal... The worst thing is, is that Teal can see this, and Teal doesn't know what to do. Fight with the Vils, shoot the Petards, and get ready to repair. Oh, uh, Snippy loses one. He only needs five, though. Ah! Repair! No! Gray! I mean, not Gray, Teal. Oh, Snippy, you're ruthless, man. And I can tell you, Snippy's going to rewatch this, and he's going to be cackling to himself. He th he's going to think it's so funny. Snippy, you're disgusting. It's this poor person. It was their first community game, and you just doing your thing. Anyway, salutes and respect emotes and chat, please, for Teal. Teal, I know you're coming back to Twitch chat now. I know you're probably upset. You just got snippied. You'll get more opportunities. Now you get to watch Snippy do it to everyone else, which the players are not able to do right now. So that's pretty good. Also, turtle ship hype. Nice to see that. But 377 years. I reckon Snippy can snipe three or four more people before that matters. Is he get I would love to see him make transports at some point. I usually watch your content to Irish daytime, but the e hmm. is crashing, so I'm glad out of one negative gives me a positive. <laughs> I usually watch your content during the daytime, but DE keeps crashing, so I'm out of negative. I I'm glad one negative gives me a positive. Fair enough. Well, thanks, DE. All right, Snippy's still making petards. He's going for the one TC, two castle, all in petard build. Uh, Gray is going to be, and this is going to be the case for most people in a position to defend this a bit easier right he's gonna have a castle now he's even going as far to add stone walls and i bet you we can't see chat but i bet you people are like wait a second what happened who did that and snippy's probably gonna give some smug response like wasn't me and five petards per town center unless it's persians or byzantines and they have a bit more HP, unless it's Imperial Age. Imperial Age, of course, you can get HP technologies. But yeah, you gotta know... Snippy. Okay, so Snippy sent a villager forward to scout. Oh my god. So again, he doesn't care about eco. Like, the thought of losing a villager as a scout bothers me so much, because that villager could collect resources. Snippy doesn't care. So he sacrifices that vill. He sees a house now. He knows the TC's got to be around here. So he can just take out a house. <laughs> Again, someone else's first community game. 
Oh no! No, Gray, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He hasn't even re- Oh, same story as Deal. Rip to the TC. Sniffy does it again, and Gray is out. People have got to be freaking out at this point. Two people have died. The monument's at 330 years. Like, awesome. What on earth is this, man? And now Snippy immediately queues up transport. So now that he's killed his neighbors, he's going to have to kill his, his distant neighbors. It's just... It's the gift that keeps on giving, man. There's a reason I hype up Snippy the way I do. Like, okay, what do you guys think... What do you think makes legends? If you had to pick one word that makes a legend for all the videos that I've made, what word would it be? I have one in mind. Someone might say it. Okay, someone said unique. That's fair. Okay, unique is fair. That wasn't really what I was going for. Okay. Um, dupe got it. Commitment. I don't care what it is, but you just need to commit. Like fats up. He's played the same settings for 20 years, and he commits to his crazy way. Snippy, he commits. It, Shadow Rough here? Now, he destroyed my TC once, so he can never be a legend, but he is giving... He's got commitment here. Yeah, I have, I have too many poor memories playing this guy. But, but yeah, um, so Snippy's going to load up the transports. That's pretty much all we're talking about right now. And if you lose, we've seen many examples of people who become quote-unquote legends when they just commit to their own silly way of playing the game, right? But it's not just commitment, right? It's also, you know, variety and uniqueness. And... But if I had to pick one word, I would say commitment. And here he goes again. Now, red has crossbows. And red's going over here. Oh, God. You've got to be... How unfortunate can you be? Oh, wait. Okay, Snippy. Okay, Snippy's been spotted. Red was fortunately on patrol, but did Red notice, or did his units just notice? Because I think he patrolled this way, much like he's attacking the fishing ships. Okay, here comes Snippy again. And Snip... Green was defeated! Green was defeated by petards from purple! And now Snippy's over here, and Snippy doesn't know where people are. And I'm sorry I missed that. So, again, purple going for the crazy plays with the turtle ships. And wouldn't you know it, Snippy arrives here. And he's right next to Purple's base. Now, Purple's Korean, so his villagers have more line of sight. Petards do not have a lot of line of sight. Does Snippy know? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He could actually do this. If he take, You've got to be... No way. There's a castle here, though. There's a castle here. There's another castle about to go up. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. <laughs> Snippy gets him. And now Purple's been camping the middle with turtles. Which seems like an unkillable force for now. Purple could honestly still win this game from the death. That's happened before in a Snippy game. There's two uploads. It's, uh... Shoot, what was it? The game that no one wins and the game that everyone loses. And it actually, fun fact, happened on the same day during Community Games. And Snippy wasn't one of those. But that was like, over a year ago. So Snippy's killed three out of the four people and, uh -huh. that are dead currently. And the person he did not kill was was killed by the person he killed. And honestly, Laboga's a beastly player too. Like, this is Laboga here. Okay, so Red is going to be... Red's making a lot of crossbows. And I have a feeling Red maybe noticed what happened earlier. He probably spotted the, um... He seems to be scouting. Yeah, I think he spotted this transport, so he has an idea. Snippy's scouting with a transport ship to find out where people are right now. As he's also imping, and he will know that Orange is over here. And Orange is, is definitely going to be tough to hit, right? Orange is fortified wall. He's seen the Snippy videos. He knows. He's got three castles around this town center. So the story of Snippy tends to be he kills three or four people and then people catch on and then they destroy him and then he never has a chance to win the game. Queen of Pigeons is a very interesting name. But uh, and also we're going to see Man-at-Arms. Interesting. Where do all the crossbows go? Red. 
with only 11 deaths. 26 military. I guess that's all the crossbows. Oh, they're over here too, okay. And what, what's blue up to? Blue's making crossbows and siege towers. Wait, you can't put petards in siege towers. Which is really sad for community games. But yeah, you cannot put petards in siege towers. But you could put like Shota warriors in siege towers. What's up, McGee's? I want a sandwich now. Scorpions as well. Blue's about to get four relics. This is some crazy production from Blue. And I see Orange is making knights. Okay, and sending them into his base. This is now a very, very interesting game. Because Snippy's making trebs. He's moved on. Petards are for Castle Age. Trebs are for Imp. He could range Orange's TC from over top of that wood line. He could range Blue's TC from around the walls. And also, if he ends up getting the tech, Tatar trebuchets have plus one range if you get the Timurid Siegecraft. He knows that Orange is over here. He's going to kill Orange, isn't he? Blue is also trying to attack Orange, and it's very hard for Orange to focus on that. Oh, it's plus two range, excuse me. Sorry, I have a thing against Tatar trebuchets because of the one co-op challenge during the 24-hour stream. I just refuse to acknowledge them most of the time. What's the plan here? I guess I should show what's going on here as we see some crazy engagements. Blue is going... Blue does not know the way. Blue is sending in petards. I appreciate the commitment. But Maganels and Knights are going to destroy what Blue has there. And Orange is like, yay, we did it. We survived. We freaking survived. And Snippy doesn't care he's going to lose the Trebs. All he needs is for the Trebs to take out the town center. He doesn't care. And Orange is going to freak out now. Now, a knight just died there. Remember that moment. Remember the moment of that knight dying. It's not going to matter. Petards, Trebs, whatever. Snippy will lose the siege units. He will take out another player. The reason I said remember that moment is because the best thing to do in that situation. So this is going to seem weird. But what Orange did to repair there was he right clicked with his villagers to repair. And when you right click, they repair around the outer ring. If you use the repair hotkey, for whatever reason, villagers jumble up in the middle. And sometimes those treb shots will hit villagers and not do damage to the TC. That's what happened with that knight. And I was thinking maybe... Wait a second. Purple still has the middle. Blue doesn't even have a dock. Red has... Red doesn't even have a dock. What? Okay, now we see some docks from Red. I mean, someone's going to have to clear this out. <laughs> Here comes Snippy. <laughs> Here comes Snippy. <laughs> With five trebs again. It makes it look so damn easy. But it's really because he just has the commitment. But I think here he's going to get caught out. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> um, just passing. What? Red doesn't have ballistics. No way. He can't keep getting away with this. He cannot keep getting away with this. If he ejects them here, he will probably take out that TC. But now he knows Red is looking for him. Or is Red looking for him? Oh my god. You're kidding me. You're joking. You're... Purple's here with the freaking... Red. Again, I think this is this person's first community game. They just don't know. Okay, now they realize. Here comes Red. But it's gonna be too late. He patrolled... Oh my... The repair. So he actually did what I said, but it's too late. Oh my god. There's only one person left. For Snippy to get. And again, I, like I said before, very rarely is he able to win games. Because typically he kills a bunch of people and then everyone has military. Here he might actually have a chance of getting this victory. This is easily one of the most epic games that Snippy's played. But also, it's really interesting because people are not focused on the freaking middle. Because people keep dropping like flies. They're so scared that, and they need to defend themselves. I mean, credit to Blue, he's making petard. Blue's making trebs. He wants to do a similar thing, but no one's making navy. So if they're not careful, if they don't do the... 
if they don't win this game quickly, Purple could actually win from the grave. Is Blue dead? He's got... Oh. I mean, it just makes you want to rip your hair out a little bit because Snippy makes it look so easy and everyone invests thousands of resources in the military, but Trebs have really good pierce armor against crossbows and you only need to take out the TC, which is only a couple of Treb volleys. I think Snippy could lose his transport here. Let's see. Because there's a castle and there's crossbows. Is he just going to run in and eject or is he going to pass here? He's passing. No ballistics. Oh my god. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> you're... Oh, no! No, 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 no! This should not happen! This should not happen! Blue... Oh! No! The Trebs are out! You're kidding me! The Trebs are out! They're packing! There's scorpions and there's arbs! No way! Shit, Snippy misclicked! He misclicked it. Oh my god. And Blue, watch the Vils. Oh. Those two Vils could save him. Watch, it could save him. No. He did it. Oh my god. Snippy killed every single player except for one. We, you know what we should do? Before we close out of this game, let's count the amount of military units that the dead players had on the map. Okay? Very, very easy to do. Blue, 68 military. Red, 78 military. Green, 5 military, but to be fair, Snippy didn't kill him. Teal just had 1, but that was very early. Uh, Shadow, 12. Ray, 1. Hides 30. Hi, so in total... I'm Snippy fan. Welcome to Jackass. Watch Nicholas Gage. <laughs> in total, the enemy had something like, and I can't do math, um, almost 200 military. And Snippy would just send like eight petards at a time and five trebs at a time. That was amazing. And again, there's very few players who have, wow. who have the commitment to send transport ships, trebs, and petards in time and time again because they're very expensive and it's very risky. Snippy, ever since the beginning, has taken those risks. That was just incredible. And it has to be said, I think it's also the perfect map for him. Because you can hit your your uh, the enemies on the flanks, but you can also get that transport in. Poof. Obviously, it's easy to say so-and-so could have got this upgrade. So-and-so could have made these units. Players were reacting. It was just a little bit too late each time. And I, that's just sick. Snippy with six kills, 23 units lost. He killed more, he destroyed more town centers. Wait, no, that's not true. He destroyed as many town centers as um, <clears throat> units killed in that game. <laughs> Ooh, man. Um, he also had more food collected. That's the other thing. He actually had decent macro behind that. He had 77 bills, which is also impressive. But I suppose when you don't focus on like making various production buildings and you're just worried about things out of your castle, it makes it a little bit easier there. Well, his profile pic shows it all. Yeah, Snippy's profile picture is indeed a petard. And I don't know how to close that one, honestly, except by saying I told you so at the start. I'm sure Gray and Teal, when they were when they were killed. They probably were upset and they were um, probably annoyed with themselves because they've never gotten into a community game before. But now they're probably like, well, as long as everyone else died the same way, <laughs> then so be it. <laughs> right? Like at this point, it wasn't just you. It was everyone else too. And it made for a good video. So uh, you'll be able to bounce back maybe two months from now. I'll be like, oh, and Bommy Tommy has learned the way. You'll be like a little protege and, and learn all your tips from Snippy. Whew. Flygon just got back. He says, who won? Did you really show up at the beginning of that and mi then miss all of it, Flygon? Oh, what a bummer. What? <laughs> Someone said the audience won. 
Yes, the audience one. Flygon, you're gonna want to rewatch that. I won't spoil it for you, but make a make a guess. The legend one. Oh, your power went out. That sucks. Well, what do I? What's what's the title of that YouTube video? I've had Snippy, like the Legend of Snippy, blah blah blah, and a few uh, titles before. Should probably say. Oh, I'm supposed to say this. I'm supposed to say YouTube. Hidden Cup 4 is March 18th through the 21st. Please make it on Twitch. We we don't smell that much. Anyways, I've got to get better at that. I'm really going to try and round up the YouTube audience for March. So, um, But yeah, that's that's 